The third round of the 2014 TM Lights series takes place on the very interesting road course here at Road Atlanta in Brazelton, Georgia. Kurt Reynolds is on the pole, thankfully or not at that really boring piece of crap D-Oval. Kurt Reynolds leads the field to the green, Ingrid Hadeland of Norway on the outside of the front row, Steve Holiday Jr., James Hewitt in row two. Josh Marshall starts fifth in car number nine. Here is car number 88 of Kurt Reynolds, one of the four DeGarmo Enterprises cars, but Hadeland gets a great run on the exit of one. And Hadeland, uh, Hadeland not being squeezed out a bit, goes uses a little bit of the curb, and it looks like Ingrid Hadeland's going to get the advantage. Kurt Reynolds looked like he wanted to avoid a little bit of contact there. Hadeland is going to hold the lead. The uh, Norwegian driver was actually just announced as being Lynx Racing's official reserve driver on the Master Cup side of things. Here's championship leader Carlos Cardona, the winner in that uh, five-lap rain-shortened race at Fontana, running fairly well. Here is the 18 car of Holiday Jr. Steve Holiday Jr. trying to set up the 155 of James Hewitt. And here you go, downhill, down through the main straightaway. And Hewitt runs a little bit wide. Holiday Jr. gets the spot. That's a lot more exciting than that really boring oval. Um, uh, that really boring uh, 1.5 mile oval. Now Joel Rodriguez trying to set up James Hewitt. We go back in the pack. Now this is Wyatt Castle in the 40 car. He, um, Gabe Messina in the three, and the 19 of Troy Adams all crashed in qualifying, and Takumi Nagata on the 54 just punts uh, the uh, 40 car of Castle off the track. Now, Takumi Nagata did some off-season meditating in order to hope uh, make himself a little bit better and hopefully redeem his reputation. <laughs> That's working. Um, <laughs> here's Ingrid Hadeland now in car number 10. As I mentioned earlier, she was... Uh, just announced this morning to be Lynx's official reserve, reserve driver, which means we'll be seeing her at Cariala and possibly in France and a few other races, possibly in a Master Cup car. Given her limited experience, she's doing a rather fine job, and she's beating her two more experienced teammates and is actually pulling away from Reynolds at the time being. 54 car, Takumi Nagata coming into the pits, but uh, he's been called in a black flag. This is a penalty, looks like, for cutting the course. And there you see Wyatt Castle and Nick Wendy King car already gaining ground on some of the back markers. Here is the 88 car of Reynolds having a dive on Hadeland, but Ingrid Hadeland defends quite well, thank you very much. Reynolds is getting a little bit frustrated, it looks like, having to be stuck behind that 10 car. And, um, well, Hadeland doing a very good job at holding him off at the time being for the first road course of the TM Light Series season. We're going back in the pack look at, I think that's Buffy. Yep, there's Buffy. Buffy Boreanaz in the 24 car, and John Quackenbush of Canada in the 34, driving for Gravity Racing. Gravity Racing has cars 34 and 71. Uh, Quackenbush will be running some races on the Master Cup side of things. Uh, Buffy Boreanaz has not broken through to Master Cup yet, despite having a couple wins in the series. Here's the Kumi Nagata finding his inner zen in the... Well, I'm off the track. Well, you keep it on the grace. There you go. The gray stuff, Takumi. Yep, yeah, that's it. That's it. There you go. There you go. Great job. Uh, here's James Hewitt in the 155 car now, trying to get third back from Holiday Jr. He's dogging Holiday Jr., not trying to pass here. Wonder if Holiday, if Holiday Jr. is aware that Hewitt is just trying to put the pressure on. James Hewitt in this uh, 155 car has got uh, quite a few interests in endurance racing. Here is the 11 car of Claire Aussier. Her teammate is leading the race, and uh, her teammate was also announced as taking over Aussier's role as Lynx's official reserve driver. But reports are that Aussier will still be in action in the third Lynx car on the Master Cup side of things, probably at her home race in Quebec, the French-Canadian. Um, they're giving Aussier another lifeline, it looks like, but I wouldn't say that's much of a lifeline. Here's Ike Durbin, the 08 car. He's going to be running the Master Cup race tomorrow, which that race will have a standing start for the first time ever. That'll be fun. Mike Durbin will get to be a part of that as he goes by Richard Scott in the four. And uh, who's that behind? Looks like that's the double zero of Dylan Buchanan. Here's the third, uh, uh, third Team Timothy car, the 68 car. This is actually Team, Tim uh, Team Timothy's lead car. It's been Dan Timothy's number for as long as I can remember. The 68 with... Um, uh, Durain Ridman at the controls of the Pocken car. Here is Friedrich Jaeger, is who he's doing battle with. Uh, Jaeger moved over to Melrose's team after uh, spending last year driving for um, Leonard Roderick's, uh, uh, the Roderick family team, uh, owned by Leonard Roderick and his dad Barrett. And here is 
Uh, Jim Carrigan in the 55 car rushing up the inside of Robert Blake. Robert Blake, uh, let's see, Robert Blake, the experienced driver over at Black Diamond Racing, and that's kind of a surprise to hear me say that. The 55 rushes up on the inside. Blake not dealing with that four pool at all, but he's going to get squeezed out, and that will probably go. Oh, there goes Kerrigan creeping off the track, sliding it around, back on track, and Kerrigan hoping to mutate his performance into something better because, well, he's doing better than Takumi Nagata, but um, Kerrigan's got a lot of potential. Watch out for this kid. He could evolve into something very, very potent in the future as Mark Blackwell off the road, and he gets jacked up by Cardona. Cardona, the Spaniard, says, enough of you, cutting the, uh, cutting off the track and back on in front of me. And around goes Blackwell. No penalty called on that because they, the steward said, the 22 was off track. That's a bit odd. Oh, hey, and Takumi Nagata coming into the pit lane. This is actually his third time coming into the pits. Uh, he was called in on uh, another penalty, believe it or not. And uh, here he is again. Troy Adams crashed in qualifying. He and Gabe Messina in the three have not really made up any ground. You'll notice that Blackwell has not pitted, but you'll notice in front of them is Wyatt Castle, who got punted on lap one and is in front of them. Anyways, Blackwell into the pits in the 22. It took him a while to decide to come in to fix the damage. TV, uh, former Australian TV personality Jack Dempsey is driving for Terra International Motorsports. Car number 41. A little bit of a wildlife expert is uh, what I've heard about. Uh, what I've heard about him going in on the inside of Rodriguez. So. Uh, <clears throat> Dempsey having a pretty good day in this car. Um, not a whole lot of experience. Bit of a controversial figure from um, uh, in the lower tiers. Uh, he was in the uh, former Arla Championship. Whoa! Han Young Sung having none of that. Han Young Sung in the 71, the Korean defending. Here comes Dempsey, and he's going to get it done around the outside. Great move by the Australian. And in, and in front of Han Young Sung he goes. Terra International Motorsports do have um, a knack for some just signing some polarizing figures. Here's Brad Dwyer, younger brother of Kevin Dwyer. Oh no, Lane Cranston! Oh, Lane Cranston just used Brad Dwyer as the brakes. Granted, Brad Dwyer's having a pretty bad start to the year anyway. But I don't think getting jacked up by Cranston is helping matters. Had to land into the pits. And um, no penalty called on Lane Cranston. Uh, apparently. Um, Hadalan into the pits. Oh, no! No! That's not right! The ADE car just plowed into the left front of Ingrid Hadalan in the inner pit stall, taking a couple of her pit crew down, and that's not right. That's not right at all. The ADE car under investigation, I, it's gotta be, has to be, as a bit of a jam up in the pit lane is gonna give James Hewitt the advantage over the... Oh! Contact with Chris Nagano, but Hewitt the advantage over Holiday Jr. and Quackenbush. Quackenbush, the Gravity Crew, lightning stop for them. Looking at Holiday Jr. now, trying to make it. Oh, Nagata! Nagata stopped practically in the middle of the racing line, and Holiday Jr. nowhere to go. Piles into the back of the Japanese driver. <clears throat> Hector Serrano in car number one, the last car to pit, and he dodged most of the pit lane chaos and. The Roderick crew gave him a pretty good stop. Hector Serrano, third at Carbondale. Bit of an unknown, Serrano. As here is Kurt. Oh! Time penalty being thrown out. And it's at the 88 car, as you just saw. So, that's a big slap on Kurt Reynolds for his second TM light start. In contention for a win and throws it away with a silly maneuver in the pits. Giving James Hewitt the lead. And John Quackenbush second, and this is also their second ever TM Light starts. So, so or third rather, I should say. Here, oh, here we have another look at the Takumi Nagata incident, and that was Friedrich Jaeger. Uh, that was the other car involved. Jaeger, I think, is going to have a lot of damage and under investigation. Oh, fun. Here's, um, oh, whoa! Humphreys, Michael Humphreys in the zero. Gets, um, gets hit by the 41. The 41 merged in the pit lane. Pit lane, not the friendliest place, especially when merging. A little bit of contact, a uh, big contact there for Michael Humphreys, and he's not going to be happy about that. Neither is Jack Dempsey. But now Quackenbush <clears throat> from Central Canada is going to have to chase down Hewitt. But look at Serrano. Hector Serrano from Mexico. 
who was running in the in the Mexican series last Oh, Serrano! Big dive! Big dive for the young Mexican! I don't think the uh, 34 car saw that one coming, but that could have been a big collision as they're coming to take the white flag. One lap to go. Quackenbush is gonna has only one lap to have a go at James Hewitt. But is he gonna have enough time to hew down the lead of Hewitt? No, he makes a dive! No, Quackenbush had a go! He gave it everything. Wasn't gonna get it done. Might have given him a bumper, but James Hewitt's gonna round the final bend for the final time and win his first TM Lights race in his third start in a thrilling finish over John Quackenbush and Hector Serrano. Josh Marshall, I mentioned him zero times, I think, but he had a good run, uh, came home fourth, and nothing interesting happened with him all race long. Matt Brinson, Han Young Sung had good runs. Cardona gained a ton of positions in the pits. <clears throat> Mariano Zavala of Venezuela didn't hit anything for a change. Ash Tucker and Victor Kane round out the top ten. Rodriguez and Richards had solid runs. Johnson had nothing interesting happen to him. Kerrigan, solid run there by that young driver. Hopefully we'll see more of Jim Kerrigan. Kurt Reynolds, his time penalty dropped him all the way to 15th, but that's what happens when you run people over in the pits. And let's have a look at the championship as it goes right now. Cardona and Serrano. Serrano with two podiums. Cardona with three very solid results to open the campaign. Two drivers who I, I think everyone wrote off. And James Hewitt's third with Matt Brinson in the underfunded Brinson Engineering team. I think Brinson will get signed by a big team sometime soon. Luke Ocean, a surprise package in the 134 EV racing car. Quackenbush, Holiday Jr., Cranston, Kane, and Jaeger rounding up the top 10 of the championship. Dylan Buchanan in an unsponsored car sits 11th in points. Dempsey, Kerrigan, Marshall, Yonser all having good starts to their season. Han Young Sung, Mariano Zavala is kicking off his career at Matthews Motorsports off very well. Mike Durbin, Will Lewis, another rookie who replaced Paul Lyons at the 11th hour, and Ashley Tucker round up the top 20 in points. We've got a long season ahead of us, but we could be seeing uh, some of these guys here in the Master Cup Series very soon. The series heads north to Pennsylvania for the fourth round of the championship to a brand new circuit.